Mark, the pandemic had a lot of impact and negative uh, distractions for a lot of the businesses in Sacramento area and along Broadway here was no exception. Now, some of the executive directors within these business districts tell me that they're hoping that these extra funds will not only revitalize these areas, but also get people excited again to go out on the town. In the heart of downtown Sacramento, you'll find some shops, restaurants, and an ice rink. We're already seeing the numbers of employees coming back to work. We're seeing our tourism numbers come back. It's been a long journey to get to this point, and as the executive director of the Downtown Sacramento Partnership, Michael Alt says there's been some key issues over the past few years. Not just COVID, but we had social issues. We had protests. We had, you know, a lot of challenges with lack of staffing. And over in the greater Broadway district, Joan Baruki says problems have been caused by a rise of homelessness in the area. That also increased the kind of graffiti and the garbage and everything else that we were seeing. For both Alt and Baruki, these issues have made it difficult for the businesses in their districts to thrive. But during today's Board of Supervisors meeting, $787,050 will be divided between both districts as well as the Midtown Association. That money coming from the American Rescue Plan Act. For Alt, his district will be getting $330,000 with a focus on spending it on safety and staffing. We're going to be buying uh, some additional vehicles, buying additional pressure washing trucks. Uh, we're adding additional staff. We're going to look at uh, adding some additional private security to really help with the nighttime. With $124,000 going to Baruki's district, she says the funds will go towards helping to support the existing businesses and cleaning up graffiti. And that's going to go towards our graffiti removal, our maintenance, and also security. We're adding a third security guard. Even though it's been slow in getting these districts back to what they once were, both Baruki and Alt say they're feeling confident about the future. Now, the executive director of the Midtown Association tells me about the $330,000 going to her district will be used towards maintaining services and to keep the community clean and increasing security. In Sacramento, Jeannie Nguyen, Fox 40 News.